In this class, we want to talk about the business plan. Now you'll see from the bottom right hand corner of this slide that there are only 17 slides in this video. So it's a very short video. It simply looks at what's included in the business plan in general terms without going into detail and why business planning uh, is important. So a very straightforward, quite simple and quite short video to, to look at. So the business plan. Well, once an entrepreneur conceives of a good idea for a new venture, the next critical step is to prepare a business plan. It's important to prepare a business plan for various reasons and not to preempt what's coming next, but quite simply, the entrepreneur must know about how to set up the business and how to structure the business and how to point the business in the right direction and to man maintain vision, to maintain what he or she is trying to achieve. Don't get distracted, don't get pulled off into other areas. And a business plan is a good way of maintaining focus, setting out what the business is trying to do and trying to achieve it. It's a blueprint that maps out the business strategy for entering markets. It, it discusses the various options the business has got about entering markets. So before anything happens in practice, the entrepreneur or the business person has thought about the markets, has thought about what needs to be done in order to penetrate the markets, get a foothold and get the business established. So, for example, the entrepreneur may look at various markets and various scenarios and reject some because the business is not configured in that particular way or is not suitable. Other markets it may look at, uh, it deems correct, it, it can do it. So it sets out the, the roadmap for how the business should move forward. It shows the direction the business should travel in, the resources that are required, how it's going to finance, what it's proposing to do. Um, it looks at all of the important issues. So that when, when the business is actually set up, no time is wasted in trying to solve these problems. They have already been anticipated and discussed. But it also explains the business to potential investors. Sometimes entrepreneurs need to raise finance from external sources, from perhaps venture capitalists. Well, the venture capitalists don't know about the business. So a business plan will indicate to them the nature of the business, the objectives of the business, the resources of the business, um, the uniqueness of the business. So it'll set out a, a very clear picture of what the business is all about, which will help Potential, potential investors decide as to whether to invest or not. It also um, develops strategies and tactics to minimize risks of failure. I say minimize, uh, it can never reduce completely. There is always risk of failure because businesses are looking forward and looking into time, but it tries to minimize as far as it can, tries to look at what's under its control and tries to reduce risk associated with any changes it can make. But by and large, the future is unknowable, as one economist put it. We can't know the future and therefore the future is very risky. But the business plan develops strategies and tactics to try and cope with that risk. In other words, it anticipates if the business goes in a particular direction, hits a certain problem, then it could realign and go in a slightly different uh, direction and perhaps get around that particular problem. So it sets out tactics and strategies to try and minimize failure, to try and minimize risk. Now, the key components of the business plan well, it's a description of the product or service. It should be obvious that the business plan must talk about the product or the service that's been produced, talk about uh, its uniqueness, its desirability, its properties, 
uh, it must talk about the product and explain the product to the reader. It must also look at market trends and look at potential competitors. Uh, if it is a good idea for this particular product, then presumably other entrepreneurs will be thinking along those lines as well. So there may be a range of companies about to set up doing similar things. So it's an analysis of market trends. Are, are the markets uh, increasing? Is consumer spending increasing in this area? Is it declining? Uh, look at what competitors are in the market. Look at what they're doing. And look at also potential competitors, ones that may enter the market. If a business sets up in a market and it's highly profitable, and other businesses find out about this, then they will want to set up as well to get part of those excess profits, those large amounts of profits. They want to share that. So uh, a successful business will attract competition. The business plan should estimate the price of the product or the service. Uh, it should try to work out what the price will be. So it should work out what the costs of production are, what uh, the costs of labor, machinery, distribution, packaging, work out all the other costs as well, marketing, accountancy, communications. Try to get a, a full picture of the cost structure involved in making this particular product. And then <clears throat> out of that, try to work out the average cost, how much per unit. And that will be a good indicator of the price to charge because providing the price was higher than that, then the company should make a profit. But of course, it is notoriously difficult to do that. The business plan should also have an estimate of when the project is likely to come into profits. Uh, when when new ventures start up, it usually takes some time before they start to generate profits. Uh, in the early stages, there's a lot of learning by doing, a lot of discovery on the part of the personnel using uh, new ideas and using new machinery and getting to know the markets. So there may be a lot of inefficiencies at the start. Later on, when the business becomes more skillful, the operators become more skillful, the business itself knows the markets more completely, it tends to generate profits. So it, there is a, a lead in time before profits are generated. But some estimate of that should be included in the business plan. Again, so investors, or at least potential investors uh, into the business will be aware of when the business is likely to come into profits. The, there should be a plan for manufacturing the product as well. Uh, it's important that the plan sets out the routines to be followed in the production of a product. If it's a physical product, there should, should go through various stages. Um, perhaps raw materials have to be delivered, perhaps they're put into a warehouse or into a store, checked out, booked out, put into manufacturing, finishing, packaging and so on. There should be a sequence set out. And for that matter, if it's a service, there should also be some sort of production uh, system set out as well. Uh, sometimes if uh, a customer requires a particular service, different departments of the business may have to work on it. It may be worked on by design departments or by the legal department or it may work, uh, the marketing department may work on it. Uh, it depends on what the, the service is and, and what is required. But there may be different parts of the organization working to deliver the order and that should be set out in the plan. Again, so the reader of the plan knows how to go about uh, solving the problem of meeting the orders. It, it should be a clear picture as to how the orders are met. And there should of course be a uh, a plan for growth and expansion of the business. Presumably, 
it's the aspirations of the, the management and of the investors that the business will grow and become more profitable in the future and more sustainable. But there should be some plan for that. Uh, should the company retain some profits to finance future expansion? Or how should it finance future expansion? And should it expand in the same area or should it diversify its production or what are its plans for expansion? And that should be carefully set out in the business plan as well. And for that matter, what are the overall sources of funding? Is it the case that the, the business at startup goes for venture capital, it goes to the banks perhaps, or it goes to seed capital or where does it get the finance? Does it ask the, uh, the, the management of the business to invest? Uh, is it private funding? So exactly where does the resources for startup and for uh, essential expenditure, where, does the, where do those resources come from at the start? And what are the pathways into expansion, into production that can be followed uh, given the resource constraints, given the funding constraints that businesses face. So how does the business cope with uh, a lack of funding or sources of funding uh, to ensure that the production takes place and that the business uh, is secure and will expand? There should be a plan for obtaining the financing. There should be uh, perhaps uh, a list of potential investors identified and their requirements should be addressed. What are they looking for? Not just perhaps the business plan, but perhaps estimates of uh, financial projections, break even, um, cash flow statements, uh, perhaps even uh, a balance sheet, a projected balance sheet covering the next, say, year or the next five years. Um, these would be estimates, but they should be realistic. And this will give the investor some opportunity to get a feel for what the business is likely to do in the future. And of course, it should be an organizational and management plan. Uh, a plan which uh, talks about how the business is structured, which departments come into existence, how depart the departments then link to each other, um, who was in charge, uh, what sort of delegation and who are the teams working within the various departments, what are their remits, what are they doing, um, what are their tasks and how do those link with other parts of the organisation. So there should be a very clear uh, chart showing the linkages between the various functional areas of the business. So that there is no ambiguity about as to who does what. Uh, there is clarity. So these are some of the points that can be covered in a business plan. Needless to say, uh, with a real business plan, these will be quite extensively covered. There will be a lot of detail, a lot of research, um, a lot of comments and a lot of anticipation of problems and solution to the problems that were anticipated. So the, the business has uh, a very realistic view of its opportunities. It has a realistic view of the market, of what its likely profitability will be, um, it should look over time as well, the, the short period, the intermediate period, uh, and the long period. In the intermediate period, um, which is what most people I think would tend to look at, would be about three to five years. So will the business exist in three to five years? Most businesses seem to collapse very quickly. But there again, it's argued that many businesses collapse because they don't have good business plans. So this is another reason why business planning is so important. But these are some of the issues that we can imagine related to business planning. There are other videos which are much more extensive 
comments and much more extensive descriptions of different parts of the business plan. This particular video is just a very gentle, almost quite superficial discussion of business planning. Just setting out the reasons why business planning uh, is important and what's likely to be included in the business plan. But as I said, that's all we're going to deal with in this uh, talk, so let's leave it at that and say thank you for watching.